Hello traders, I want to talk about an addition to our webhook feature. Today, when you want to send a webhook to Capitalize AI, you send this JSON, and that triggers a condition within one of your strategies. But now you can also untrigger your condition by adding another parameter, which is called untrigger, and setting it to true. And this is how you write it. Let's look at this example. We have a chart. We have a VWAP indicator on the chart. And let's assume that we want to trigger uh, an entry or trigger a buy or sell when our RSI is below 30, but when we are below the lower band of the VWAP. Let's write the strategy in Capitalize AI. If an asset's RSI is below 30 and a webhook triggers, buy $1,000 of that asset. We're going to hit next. Let's call it webhook test and we're good to go. Now that we have that strategy running, let's go back to trading view. Within trading view, we would want to create two alerts. Let's create the first one. So if Bitcoin is greater than VWAP's lower band, and we would want to do that once on bar close, we want to send uh, uh, the off message because we are above the lower band. So I wrote all the messages in the notepad. Let's copy the off message and put it in the message box and create that alert. Now let's create another alert. If Bitcoin is less than the VWAP lower band, we want to put that as the on and let's copy the JSON message and put it in the message box and create that alert as well. So now we have two alerts. Let's see how that plays out. Let's put the two windows one next to each other and see how that plays out and trigger and untrigger our condition as we move along in time. So we're just getting a point in time where when this one minute bar will close, we'll get the webhook message that will untrigger our condition. So this widget should be untriggered. Let's see how that looks like. Awesome. So now let's move a little bit forward in time. And now when this minute is over, we're expecting to see the trigger going back on. And this is exactly the behavior we would expect. So now every time the price will be below the lower band, our webhook widget will be turned on. And every time it's going to be above the lower band, it's going to be turned off. This is very useful. It has many different applications. And in future videos, I will show you how I implement this in creating various different trading strategies. Until then, thank you very much for watching.